I can't get my shadow to stick on. Peter, you've been trying to stick it on with soap. Well then... It must be sewn on. What is sewn? You are dreadfully ignorant. No, I'm not. I will sew it on for you, my little man. I dare say it will hurt a little. I never cry. <clears throat> Candy's in a relationship with Brian Buff Muscles! Sandy likes your relationship status. Thanks for liking my relationship status, Sandy. Don't worry. I'm sure you're going to find a really amazing guy someday, too. <laughs> Thanks, Candy. I wasn't really worried about it. Oh, well. But go ahead and rub your happiness in my face. JK, LOL. Seriously, I'm actually really happy for you guys. You should be, because he's amazing. Sandy likes your comment. You should be, because he's amazing. You know how we used to say that we wanted to spend all eternity together? Yeah. Voila! You brought home a slave? She's not a slave, she's a vampire. A vampire? Yeah, just ask her. Um... Bella, would you tell her that you're a vampire? My name isn't Bella. Can you tell her I'm not making this up? Yeah, sure, what she said. She's a little weak right now, all that garlic. How did you find her? Do we really have to go into all of this? Look, what I tell you, take a look. Check it out. We gotta wash the nose ring. She's getting the cream stuff all over it. Oh, man. Do you believe it? There it goes again. She's sticking out her tongue to lick it off the nose ring. Cool. And now we present to you the many questions of The Thinker. If you spill cleaning products, did you make a mess? If two psychics are reading each other's minds, are they reading their own minds? What if Pinocchio said, my nose will now grow? If a tree falls down and no one is about to hear it, how does somebody know that it fell down in the first place? So I was shopping this afternoon, and on my way to the car, Bella tried to jump me. Bella? Shut up, Bella! Okay. So I pepper sprayed her in the eyes. Hey, please not. This is the best part of the story! Hold on. Spending all eternity together? Capturing a vampire? I think I'm getting the picture now. Yeah! You had this idea? I thought, why not take lemons and make lemonade? This is such a drag. What do you think then? I think... I want to move out! John, you're such a brownie man. Thank you, Rose. That's very kind of you to say. You're a brownie, brownie, brownie man. Thank you. So anyways, guys, you know what I mean. It's all because he's a boy. Mm-hmm, totally. Boys suck. So what happened to you? I don't want to talk about it. We told you ours. This is worse! Than suffocating as gold fills your lungs. Or having your throat slit. I don't want to talk about it. If you were a boy, you would have lived. Probably. Guys, I'm telling you, boys suck. She was burned alive! What are you doing? Sweet. Are you crazy? She'll kill us both. No, just you. She's going to make me immortal. Isn't that right, Edward? You know what? Call me whatever you want. She and I will be immortal forever. Wait, you just met her. And what did that say about us? I, I don't really know. <laughs> you, you killed her. Yeah, you can thank me later. So, does this mean I'm off the hook? Well, I mean, I'm still pretty hungry, so. Oh, I see. Hey, I'll give you a dollar if you don't- <laughs>